from the show that is always looking out for you in Kansas City. This is Eye to Eye KC with Galvin Berkeley. All right, everybody. This is the first show of 2021. I am your host, Galvin Berkeley, and uh, let me tell you, this show has been in the making since last year. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, but uh, we've had a lot of situations going on. I hope everybody is well. I hope that your family is well. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you take care of yourselves. Please take care of yourselves. Do your own homework. Do your own research uh, about the vaccines. I'm not going to tell you take the vaccine. Do or don't. Uh, that's your decision. You have to live with your decisions. A lot of folks are having to make that decision. And they're not coming out the other side some are blessed and lucky to come out on the other side and some have changed their minds on that vaccine being near death so I'm just going to put it to you like this either you're going to make the decision sooner or later to protect yourselves with the vaccine or without the vaccine so that's your decision I'm not going to scare you you know we've been through this for a year and a half you're not most of y'all watching are not kids Y'all don't need to be baby, and I'm not babying anybody on this program watching. Whether you're watching or whether you're here on the show uh, being interviewed, I'm not babying you. You're grown. You take care of yourselves. And with that being said, uh, we've got a few things to talk to you about. And uh, one of them being, we've been off the air for quite a long time because of technical difficulties. And let me say this, it's more than technical difficulties. I had a tough time trying to come back after January 6th. I've had a hell of a time trying to think about coming back. I I'm honestly thought about canceling this show altogether after the last show that we had of the election. The elections to draw me bonkers last year. You know, the presidential elections that we just had last year, they drove me up the wall. And it made me feel a certain way. And I'm going to tell you something. We are in dog doo-doo. <laughs> I'm just going to be quite honest. We're, we're up shit's creek right now in terms of leadership in this country, in terms of elected folks that's supposed to be doing their jobs. And they're saying, no, we're not going to do our jobs. You got some... Uh, politicians saying, no, I'm not going to do my job. Now, if I said that at my eight, at my uh, nine to five job, my ass would be fired. So why is it that we continually vote for the same old losers in Washington and expect new results? So what I'm asking y'all to do is do your homework. Please find out who these politicians are getting funded by and start getting ready to get them out of office. It's time to stop playing games. It's time to stop playing games. It's time to stop taking their little sweet talk to us. We're done with sweet talking. We're, we're tired of you lying to us. We're tired of you uh, cheating on us a and saying one thing and you're doing a whole different other thing. I think a lot of people, my good friend that does the Lynette Gray show over at KUAWLPFM 98.5 LPFM uh, uh, she says something that is really profound and I say this because it fits the moment it fits what happened last year into this year and we've got to be proactive instead of reactive and right now the election between Trump and Biden was being reactive and instead of us being reactive, we need to be getting around candidates that have our interest, that wants to work hard, that wants to get, uh, that wants to uh, help people have better lives. And I'm sorry, I don't know about you, but I see people say that they're tired of their jobs just before COVID, and now people say F jobs. And they're staying at home. It's not that they can't find workers. It's that you treated your workers like shit. 
it's that you treated your workers like that, and you you and I know that. You want to sit here and play that it's labor shortage. Labor shortage, my ass. You can find people, if you pay them right and you treat them correctly, you can pay them any decent amount of money. But people have started to get a little bit smarter up here and realize that, no, we're not going to play your games anymore. And if these employers were smart, they would start looking at how they can keep people and, and look at how they lost people. You didn't lose people because people are lazy. It's not a lazy thing at all. You've mistreated your folks like crazy. You mistreated you on these folks. You told these folks you can be replaced. Well, good luck on that. You can replace them, but you're not going to find good, dependable, honest people to work for you when you've took the good and honest and respectable people that was working for you and they just gave you this middle finger here they just showed you what they are talking about with you it's not about labor shortage it's about how the hell they were treated and how they figured out you know what government paying a little bit more over here I at home and guess what I'll just rack it up a little bit at home until I can't do it no more and that's exactly what has happened. And let me say this. We don't, just because you can get people in the door, doesn't mean that you're going to keep people in the door. Let's just be honest. Tell the truth. It's not a labor shortage. It is a shortage of y'all treating your employees like and doing it day in and day out. When you pay them dirty, uh, 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 when you pay them pennies on dollars. When you should have been paying them dollars up to hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars. You've done this to yourselves, uh, job creators. You've done this to yourselves over the decades. So go on and cry your river. Uh, furthermore, I want to give this housekeeping up. Those who will be future guests on Eye to Eye, we will not be doing. Uh, face to face interviews for the foreseeable future because of the COVID. I'm not going to put ourselves, I'm not going to put myself at risk. It's only me right now doing this show. We don't have staff, a big staff. We don't have a, a large staff that we can dispose of. And I'm not going to, even if we did have a staff, I'm not going to subject them to uh, interviews and stuff right now. Right now. Not unless you're willing to mask up. I, I, I've been masked up, so I, you know, that's nothing new. But if some of y'all not willing to mask up, then I'm not going to put myself at risk. Sorry, end of discussion. We've been through this for a year, over a year and a half. So, let me say this. No, I'm not coming to meet y'all to do any stories right now. Hell, this, this show has changed uh, from where it was back in 2015 and 14. It's not the same show as it once was. So, a lot of y'all that's wanting me to do stories, it's not happening right now. I'm not going to say it's never going to happen, but it's not just not right now. We're looking at stuff and reevaluating things as we go along. So, that may be what stands today, but tomorrow it could always be different. So, all I can say is stay tuned, but what I say now is what's going so anybody that has a problem with interviews with me, don't sit down. Uh, but what we're going to do is take a break, and I'll be right back with the very latest of news and commentary here in Kansas City and in Jackson County. Closed captioning on I2IKC with Galvin Berkeley is brought to you by Price Chopper. Kansas City knows Price Chopper. If you're going to sell a KC strip in KC, you better do it the right way. That's why for more than 40 years, KC Pride Beef from Price Chopper has come from cattle raised in the Midwest. And it's cut fresh in store daily by experts in their craft, all to within one eighth inch trim and backed by a 200% guarantee, making it worthy of its name. For fresh 200% guaranteed beef cut by experts, Kansas City knows Price Chopper. Oh, hey. So did you get that offer on the Anderson house? We got it this morning. I'm going there now to present it to her. 
So what's your job title today? Still a Realtor. Realtors take on many roles. Which one do you need? I bet 20. Call? Call. I raised 60. Hey guys, what's that? Whoa, that's a terrible hand. <laughs> wow! <laughs> All in. All right. Leaking pipes cost you money. Did you know that a leaking pipe can put a drain on your wallet? We can help. Visit BenjaminFranklinPlumbing.com to learn more. Back in my day, this was known as a royal flush. Oh, man. City Public School System is going to be limiting its suspensions. Uh, K through five students will be issued suspensions under under certain circumstances. And instead of suspensions, they're talking about buddy rooms and intervention uh, instead of just using suspensions. They're saying also to note that they are going to be uh, using out of school suspensions sparingly, and that they that. OSS will be uh, reserved for extreme events across different grade levels. And uh, we got news going towards the Jackson County Detention Center. Those who have traveled up and down the 40 Highway will know that uh, Hart Village is the trailer home uh, community. Uh, well, that was acquired by the Jackson County Commissioners for about the price tag for seven million dollars and that price tag is going part of that price tag is um, part of that price tag is going to help those who live in Hart, Hart Village the trailer park homes will be asked to move they're going to be paying for the relocation fees and here's how that's going to be broken down Ten thousand dollars will be going towards uh, ten dollars. Ten thousand dollars per family will help those to be re relocated, and they, I've heard that they're going to relocate some of the trailers. I don't know how true that is. I haven't had time to really sit down and uh, check on that. Uh, the county has approved the ordinance to the has. Let, let me go back here. Uh, about a hundred residents in Heartland Village will be affected with that, and it's going to cost about eight, about five to eight thousand dollars to move those trailers, the standard trailers, according to Move.com. Uh, so the cost breakdown is a, originally it was 1.2 million dollars, and that 1.2 million, oh, uh, a lot of residents at Hart Village made some noise and they got their uh, amount increased to about two million dollars and as I just said ten thousand dollars per family and five thousand dollars I believe per individual so a, a roughly a figure of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's what they're saying but that figure could be more or less <laughs> uh, the new detention center is going to be moving from downtown. Of course, you know, the detention center, that they've talked for the last several years of how uh, deteriorated the uh, jail, the Jackson County Jail, has been. Uh, the new cost, it, the cost of this new jail would cost about $260 million. Um, it is going to be completed in 2022. I mean, actually, construction is going to start in 2022, and it's going to be expected to be complete, to be completed rather, in 2024, in the fall of 2024. Um, in the criteria that they came up with this new jail, they needed 50 acres, um, 
they needed to be 20 to 20 to 30 minutes away from hospitals and the courthouse. Uh, they wanted an area that was safe and visible. That's what the criteria was. Safe and uh, visible was what they was talking about. An easy highway access, and of course, they wanted a public transit, a uh, public transportation access to it. So that's why they came up with that particular area. Now, a lot of folks aren't happy, of course, obviously, about having to leave. It's an additional cost burden for those folks at, at Heartland Village. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it plain and simple. Now, had it been black folks, you wouldn't see $2 million. Hell, you wouldn't see $1.2 billion. You'd be, you'd be lucky to see any kind of money. That's what happened with the police, uh, and I know this is city and county differences here. But what happened to the folks um, off of Prospect is that they were pushed out of their neighborhoods. And I do believe the same is going to happen to these folks. These are going to get pushed out. They are already getting pushed out. Uh, in addition to for the residents, that rent was canceled for them back in August. That's what we've heard, that the rent was canceled in August. So if we have any more information, and I do promise you, if we have any more information to share with you, we will do so. What time we got, we're going to be right back. driving habits like jackrabbit starts, sudden stops, or rapid or erratic acceleration. They certainly don't make a lot of sense here or back at your car, where they can affect your fuel efficiency and add to air pollution. So drive smart and breathe easy. For more on your air quality, go to mark.org slash airq. In KC, unbelievable things happen every day. Yeah. Unbelievable! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's why Community America does unbelievable things to move all of KC towards financial peace of mind. Because when you believe in unbelievable, unbelievable things happen. Join us at Community America. Monetary story to share with you now. Roy Blunt has announced his that he is not going to be uh, he's going to be retiring and he's not going to be running for re-election next year. However, uh, let's take a look at what he announced back in March. Election victories, three to county office, seven to the United States House of Representatives, and four statewide elections. I won't be a candidate for re-election to the United States Senate next year. I want to thank my family and thank the great team that came together to help me work for you. Most importantly, thanks to Missourians, whether you voted for me or not, for the opportunity to work for you and a better future for our state and our country. There's still a lot to do, and I look forward to every day this year and next year as I continue to work for you in the Senate. All I have to say to that is good riddance, Roy Blunt. Good riddance. Don't let the door hit you in that. Okay, that's all I got to say for you. Uh, you wouldn't anticipate Galvin to say that, was you? Well, too bad. Uh, let me say this to you all. These folks that is in office, they are using their power, and they and they are locking into their power. And you see this more on the right than you do the left. They're locking into their power. They want to use their power for any kind of reason. And you got some of the smartest people 
doing this too. Just smart. And I'm saying this sarcastically. They're so smart that they're dumb. Now that's real. That's the truth. They're dumb as hell. And speaking of dumb, um, well, I shouldn't say that, but, you well, know, Jesus will. That's all I got to say on that. Roy Blunt has been in office since 2011, and the candidates that are looking to replace Blunt is Jewel Kelly, Lucas Kuntz, hopefully I said this name right, Gina Ross, uh, Tim Shepard, Scott Shifton, uh, if I can read my own handwriting, Spencer Todd, Eric Greitens, that's a familiar name, the former governor that got impeached, he got his ass up out of there. That's all I got to say on that. Vicki Hartzler, Billy Long, uh, Mark McClaskey, <laughs> the the man that pulled a gun on the protesters in front of his home, because he said he was a fear, he was feared, he was fearing for his life. And Eric Schmidt says he's going to be running. He's going he's going to be a potential candidate for. Blunt's seat. Now, those who are not familiar with Eric, she's currently deciding on a case here in Jackson County on Kevin uh, Strickland, the man who's been in jail for 40 years. He's recently lost his mother and he's been wrongfully convicted of a crime. And I don't have the specifics in front of me in terms of, uh, of the crime that this man had was accused of committing. But I will say this, Eric Schmidt has tried, has filed appeal after, and I think he got another appeal, to try to move the case out of Jackson County. One judge told him no, the other judge told him no, the other judge thinking about it, hopefully it's no. So they're trying everything in the book that sticks, and they sit, and he, and uh, Eric Schmidt says that there's evidence that makes this man guilty. Well, if there's evidence in his 40 years of, uh, of letting this man sit in jail, where is your proof? Let this man go in peace. <laughs> and finally, Paul Walker is the candidate for Roy Blunt's seat. There is a gap between what is needed and what needs are met. A company can sell a shoe or it can inspire people to be more active. A teacher can educate a child or motivate a future leader. A store can sell a pair of eyeglasses or give a pair away for each one sold. And a bank can make a loan or lend its strength to change someone's financial freedom. 
When you partner with Liberty Bank, you empower more people to achieve more freedom. You're also investing in a bank that is a proven leader and has impacted those who don't usually have access to fair interest rates, new opportunities, and quality financial products. As a customer of Liberty Bank, your money is circulated in the community. More people can qualify for loans, mortgages, and credit cards. Liberty is committed to financial mentorship, encouragement to businesses, and empowerment for all. So let's flip the script. So more families can buy homes, more businesses get started, and more dreams are realized. The impact on communities is immeasurable, and the return for our stakeholders is exciting. This is bigger than banking. This is what happens when money and mission meet. This is how we close the gap between what is needed and what needs are met. Bank with us. Together, we can make a difference. Liberty. More than just a bank. There's freedom here. Member FDIC. Career so divided. We're divided amongst whether you wear, whether you have a specific brand of shoe that you like to wear, whether you like to drive a specific make and model of a car, whether you like to, uh, whether you're religious or not, whether you are a Republican or a Democrat, we're so divided. This country loves division. And that division is brought about racist, racism in this country for years. We love racism. We love it so much. We love it that we celebrate it. We lie for it. We cheat for it. We, with racism, we've evolved with how to be negative. And for people that sit here and say that Donald Trump brought out racism, that's a damn lie right there. And while I love to blame everything on Donald Trump, Donald Trump is the symptom of a problem. Not the whole problem. He's just a symptom of the problem. And that is being said that this country loves hate. It loves racism. It loves division. It loves separation. We're not united. So we need to go on ahead and change our name from United to the Separated States of America. Because we're separated. Last summer's uh, Don't Shoot protests across this country has led us to still deal with the same old issues that was being protested about. Police brutality. I, a man out of St. Louis was already uh, apprehended and the police brought a dog to bite this young, I mean this black man. I'm not going to say that he was young, but they, the police had to bring out a dog because he wasn't following their orders. So he had to go get a dog. And if we have the video, I want to show it. And if we don't, we'll see if we can get it. But anyhow, I seen the video and I, my, my jaw dropped. I said, you already got the man where you want him. Why is it that you want to treat black folks like dirt? And I have your answer. Because they are afraid. They are afraid of black folks. And what I mean by they, what I mean is, you got racist white folks in this country that will, that is holding on to whatever power that they perceive to have. Whatever little control. The recent uh, census has, has came out. And there's going to be, a, there, there's already a shift that black people there's more of black and brown people in this country. There's a lot of black and brown people in this country. And they're having a problem with that. They've had it before Donald Trump got elected and Donald Trump just blew that little thing up and boom this is what we got to deal with. You got people that just want to jump out at you that we like to call Karens. And we like to say, I wish you Karen would. Uh, coming from uh, Dr. Rashad Ritchie from Indisputable. I liked how he said that, I wish you Karen would segment. Uh, let me say this. We, we love racism so bad. But the thing is, the other in this country, and what I mean by other, I mean black, brown, 
in different cultures of people then it evolves from women in this country that's where the other uh, uh, group is grouped in this conversation we want to make it totally a white society but we don't want, we, we don't want to allow for black people to have a voice to have decisions to make decisions we don't even like to see black people in power that's how bogus this country is in this country we want to block people from having opportunity whether it's the others whether it's the woman whether it's whether it's the young we we we, we want to block but we don't want to build we don't want to lift we don't want to help people you say that you have to pull yourself by the, you have to pull yourself by the bootstraps well that's true if we had a fair system but we don't we got the rich running the government you got the majority of white men making decisions for women you got the majority of white men telling black people to go after themselves figuratively with the legislation so tell me when that's fair tell me not to talk about slavery huh tell me when did discrimination tell me when slavery ended and when discrimination ended because it never did it just evolved we went from slavery we went to desegregation we went from desegregation to discrimination we went from discrimination to just simply lying and now we were in our emotions right on our damn sleeves in this country and that's the sad part but on that note we'll get into a little bit further hopefully in the nearest editions of I to I KC thank you for joining us and I hope to see you on the next I to I KC have a wonderful time and don't forget to have that I conversation don't forget to like share and subscribe and do what you need to do Stay in contact with us. Bye-bye.